Welcome. Today we're going to take a look at Obsidian as a task manager, what I like to uh, use Obsidian for as a task manager, what I don't like uh, Obsidian for as a task manager. I'm just going to walk you through how I use it because people have asked. Before we do that, a couple ways to support the channel. First off is uh, I've actually opened up YouTube memberships. We'll do some advanced videos for that. Um, and you can just support the channel because you want to be a supporter. Uh, the other thing you can do is take one of my Skillshare courses. Uh, you're probably interested in the getting started with Zettelcast in one, which you can find a link below. And I'll have an upcoming course on Obsidian coming soon. So let's take a look at what I use Obsidian Task Management for. So probably the biggest thing is my writing. My writing workflow right here. <clears throat> so this is where you see I have my uh, task management for Obsidian. It actually is in the record. Same with the fiction I own in multiple formats, which I'll be recording next. Um, and I have all my ideas down here. I have the ones that I'm actively working on right here. Uh, rules to remember in life, right? I'm going to migrate back to WordPress for my CMS. Uh, how to optimize images for site. Uh, Readwise Obsidian. It's a cool plugin. I'm going to do a video about that. Um, <clears throat> Obsidian Sync Security, right? M1 Pro, iPad Pro for the developer. You see them, they are Royal Kluge RK84 uh, iPad keyboard, which I just got. Uh, and a whole bunch of other ideas down here. All right, so I got tons of them to do. And so really what I do is I have my ideas uh, in the ideas column. When I'm going to move to, to actively working, I put it out into the working column. When I think it's ready and it's ready to get a date on it, I put it in the scheduled column. Uh, once, you know, once I'm up to recording, I might have a few things in here, but on recording day, I usually put the two uh, items I'm going to record in the record column. And, you know, I'm basically recording this right now. So I'll move the task management one over to to publish. Um, and then when I'm done publishing, I move it over to the done column. The other thing I do for each uh, project here is you can see, I actually have a template and I have just the checklist of things I need to do, right? Put a thumbnail in description, tags, cards. So if I actually have a card to add, I'd put in um, time code, right? Or a 224 thing, and I'd actually record the time code. And then when I come back to publishing the post on YouTube, I actually walk through this and I make sure that I put in the card for, you know, 224 for a thing. Not that there is a card for this at this point. Um, that's one of the big things I use it for with those columns. And I have, uh, I use Templator um, to populate that. So if I have a new item, I'm going to say thing to write about, I would create a card, new note from card, pull up a template, it's a content template. There we go. I've got my new note from card. Not that I actually want that because it's, I'm not going to do anything with it. I delete the card. So the other things that I use this for, so the other things I use this for is you can find it in my boards. If I go to my boards, I have it as someday maybe lists. So these are things that I'm going to tackle at some point that I need to tackle at some point, right? Um, fixing elastics in a tent, waxing the tent zippers, uh, stocking up first aid kit supplies, purchasing more tent pegs, or for home, right? Getting a new barbecue cover, I need to recycle a monitor. Um, I was at, at one point I was playing with the actual task management plugins, and I'll talk about a couple of those in a second. Um, in Obsidian, the ones that are um, like use checklists, stuff like that, but I don't really use them anymore. Um, and these are things that I'm just going to do someday, maybe. They're not an active project, but I might even put um, like notes in here, um, right? So, kids' hammock. I didn't actually do this. Or I did, I guess I moved it out. So, I didn't have it hung this yet, but I moved it into a project inside Things 3, so that's a project I can actually work on. So, once I had done the research on it, I took the notes in there and then I moved it into an actual project with the details, right? Recycle monitor and cables. I need to find a place to recycle an old monitor here. Maybe I might not do that now. So this might change my streaming setup. I might need just a spare monitor to monitor things. Um, the other things I'll do too is Obsidian, just like general tasks. Someday maybe things, oh, I need to, you know, tweak my Obsidian settings. So we'll go back through like adjusting things in tag notes, uh, assign, you know, hotkeys for stuff, things that are kind of maintenance tasks um, on my Obsidian uh, database, on my Obsidian files, but I just haven't got to yet. Uh, that's really it. Like, I don't use it for anything else because it's just, I don't think it's the right tool. There are great um, task management tools out there, like Things 3, 
mm, sort of OmniFocus. Well, I think it's kind of legacy software now. I don't think that it's really an excellent piece of software for today. I think it's it's just lacking in lots of ways. I did a video about that already. I will link to this. See, this is where I'll record a card. Um, and I tried a bunch of the Obsidian ones, like Slated, Tasks, Checklist, and the Todoist. I actually didn't try the Todoist plugin because um, I didn't use Todoist. But I tried those ones, and there is the Todoist integration, and they just it it felt like more management. It felt like it was just trying to jam too much into one tool, too much stuff that just wasn't good for this tool into it. So I stopped. There is a great full list of task management tools, though, uh, on the Obsidian Roundup site. There'll be a link to that below so that you can go check out all the other task management options. What I think Obsidian is best for in the task management field is content calendar um, and a checklist inside an actual piece of content or inside an actual task where like the task is that content of the note um, or for somebody maybe lists so that they're not in things. I don't have to keep reviewing them all the time. They're not in your main task manager, but you know, when you've done some research, when you flesh them out, then you actually turn them into a real task, a real project to do in the task manager of choice. That's it. If you like the video, thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell, all those things YouTubers are supposed to say. Um, if you want to support the channel, you we usually stream on Fridays at 6 a.m. Pacific, although I'm going away with the wife as I record this, so I like I didn't stream today because I gotta edit videos quickly and go away for the first time in a couple years with the wife, which would be nice. Um, Discord channel, links below. Skillshare courses, links below. I get some, you know, affiliate fees, and when you take the course, I also get money. So thanks for taking the courses. That's it. Have a wonderful day. Try not to fall in.